In this episode of Bear TV News, we check out a theater event, attend a rock band concert, check up on some of the latest U Pike Bear sporting events, and much more. Hello, you Pike viewers, and welcome to the March 28, 2024 edition of Bear TV News. I'm Oliver Saunders. And I'm Michael Lee. We are covering all the recent news at U Pike in our community. The University of Pikeville's track team was on the road this weekend. Reporter Kirsten Callahan has more. This past weekend, we had the opportunity to travel with the University of Pikeville's track and field team as they faced their competition head on at Bria College. We had the opportunity to speak with male sprinter Oscar Moore on his experience at this meet. My main thing right now is to stay healthy. Like at the beginning of the track season, I was, was like starting off slow, and then I re progressed really, really well. But then I kind of got kind of got hurt, and then it just went downhill. So right now I'm in the recovery stage of getting better. Despite the adverse weather conditions, the Bears took on the Golden Multiple events, with Amelia Casey smashing the conference qualifying mark in the women's triple jump. We also spoke with head coach David Espinosa on his thoughts of the meet and how he plans on having the team move forward in preparation for the outdoor conference championships. Uh, overall, we did really well. I think we competed great despite the weather. Uh, you know, came out with a few wins. So wins are always more important to me than than times and everything with the change in weather and conditions. So you know, overall, real pleased. The University of Pikeville's track and field team had an amazing day competing against others. My name's Kirsten Callahan, you're watching Bear TV News. The Communication Honor Society hosted a bake sale as a part of their celebration during their campus-wide communication week. The event was held to bring more awareness to the importance of communication studies. The group had a tremendous amount of support from all programs over campus, including psychology, science, and math. This fundraiser will help them to continue to host fun events for their students. Now it's time for our U Pike Film and Media Arts Senior Spotlight. Today we're talking with Andrew Stratton about his experience at U Pike and his plans after graduation. The University of Pikeville is host to many unique programs, including their growing Film and Media Arts program. We had the opportunity to sit down with senior FMA student Andrew Stratton and discuss his future plans and reflect on his time as an FMA student. I've been involved in a lot of uh, other programs such as theater and music. I have filmed a lot of events for them and I've actually made a lot of friends from both of these programs and I'm very thankful that I've gotten the opportunity to help out and meet new people. So after college, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I'm probably going to stay local for a while before I go anywhere else because there are a lot of different production companies around here that I could potentially apply for. Stratton was given the opportunity to put his skills into play when producing the first ever U Pike student feature length film. Probably one of my favorite memories that I have um, the entire time I've been here is creating my own two hour feature length film entirely from scratch myself. Um, the film is called They Can't Take Their Eyes Off You. It took me two years to completely finish beginning to end and and having it premiere in Christmas Auditorium and having an audience of people watch it and at least seem to enjoy it somewhat was a very gratifying feeling and that is a special experience that I will hopefully remember for the rest of my life. We wish Andrew Stratton all the best in his film career. I'm Mackenzie Smith with Bear TV News. We wish Andrew Stratton the very best in his future career. The Alara Library will be hosting a Crafter Noon event Wednesday, April 3rd from 4 to 6 p.m. The spring theme activities will include creating paper flowers and making pine cone flower crowns. Be sure to stop by the second floor of the library and check out the activities if you have the time. U Pike's Drawing Theater program has created a brand new event for its students. Reporter Andrew Stratton has more. On Saturday, March 23rd, the University of Pikeville Theater program held its first annual theater retreat. Held on the eighth floor of U Pike's Bears Tower, the event brought together theater students for a variety of activities. 
These included improv games, script writing, and karaoke. I talked to theater professor Jenna Steigerwalt about the idea and future of the event. So we're putting on this uh, retreat in order for students to get to know each other better. Also, our program is new and growing, and so we wanted to come together and kind of create guidelines and a sense of community. The hope is that when we leave here today, we'll know each other a bit better, we'll have had a bunch of fun, and we'll have created some of these um, guidelines for our growing theater community. We'd love to have this every year, make this our first annual, uh, with the goal of welcoming new people to our program every year as we grow. Additionally, I spoke with event coordinator Amanda Tharp about planning the retreat. It was a graded assignment for all of the theater classes. Um, every student in every theater class had to do it. Um, it was a large group of people trying to figure out how to plan an event for the first time. Um, it was mainly uh, done by um, me, Ethan Hobson, Amy Smallwood, and Alathan Bowling. We hope they had fun, and we would like to ask you to please support Pike Theater in their future performances. I'm Andrew Stratton with Bear TV News. The University of Pikeville Music Program recently showcased some of their most talented students at their annual rock band concert. At U-Pike Music's first spring concert of the year, the U-Pike rock band performed a high-energy concert on Friday, March 22nd. The band performed a mix of several rock anthems, including hits by Greta Van Vliet and Stevie Wonder. Slade Denman, the director of bands and assistant professor of instrumental music at the University of Pikeville, oversaw this event. To learn more about the evening's performances, we spoke with U-Pike rock band vocalist Elathan Bolin, who told us that Denman often takes a step back and lets his students take the lead in creative decision making. Bolin says he tries to rely on Denman as a point person who keeps them in check. Bolin also told us that the best part of these concerts is performing for the crowd. These concerts offer free admission to all U-Pike students. Make sure to come out and support the U-Pike Music Program, which will be holding its next performance for concert and jazz band on April 7th in the Booth Auditorium. Before we go, we would like to quickly announce the U-Pike Film and Media Arts Program is now accepting submissions for their annual U Parodies event. Students can create a parody of a TV show, movie, or video game for a chance to win $400 in prizes. If you want to submit a film, please email Andrew Reed by April 2nd. Well, that's all for today's show. We'll be back next week for more updates on the U-Pike community. I'm Michael Lee. And I'm Oliver Saunders. This has been the March 28, 2024 edition of Bear TV News. Go Bears!